hello everyone in this video we will be making our result for our windows we will be making charges for this windows and also for here for our door okay let's start building our charges okay first we will start from here we will turn off our wall layer for easier drawing as you can see we can only see now our other than other other objects then walls okay we will take polyline command first we will use ucs command to make this line as our x axis y axis sorry we made a mistake using this command select this point as a base point select this point as x axis and this as a y axis okay. now now use polyline command Okay, we will go to wireframe. Now use polyline. Select this point. This point. Um, around 10 inches in the pool. Give a distance about 5 inches. Just again and give five inches here also and five ten inches onwards. Sorry, we made a mistake. Actually, we need to take this reference line. Okay. Now select here and join here. Press enter. As you can see, our polyline has been created. Now we need to extrude this. The extrude command. Select this object and give a distance about two feet. Now we need to put this here in everywhere. Just first we will see in shaded mode how it is looking. So it is looking like this. This is our basic chaza. If you want to see different types of designs in chazas, you can comment here. I will make a separate video on this. Okay. Now select this take copy command take this point as a base point and paste here as you can see now we need to put it here also so select. we need to rotate this so for rotation use rotate gizmo and select the rotation angle as you can see it has been rotated now copy this and select this point and Good. As you can see, now select this and copy again. 
select this as a base point and put it here also we need to put it here so first rotate it now select this copy command Usually, if we go to wireframe, it will be easier for us to selection of that point. We need to select this point and paste it in this part. In this point. Now we will see it in our shaded view. As you can see, it has been properly added. Now we'll make our wall layer on to see everything is good. Yeah, as you can see, <coughs> our charges has been perfectly made. Now we need to do one thing: make a layer called 3D charges. And color will be similar somewhere around our walls so like this actually this layer color doesn't mean anything right now because we will put original paint effect later that time the color will be chosen properly this time we will put colors to identify the objects And put these things in 3D chargers. Okay. We will make chargers here also. So there will be some sort of design. So first, first take rectangle command, select this point. Sorry, cannot do this. Use UCS, select this as a X and this as a Y. Now take a rectangle and make a rectangle here like this. And now select this polyline and move it from here to here. We will delete these things. If your computer is slower then try removing all the unused objects you have created for building your drawing and also try turn on and off all other layers when making some or working on a particular layer that will help to work faster on, on your computer okay. okay we'll make some design here so take three inches take three inches offset Sorry, we will leave, we'll leave much more. Take offset, give 8 inches like this. Also, make another now copy this okay. now we need to extrude this the space bar given height of 4 inches now extrude this line give a height of 4 inches select this object copy select this point and paste it here 
sorry 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 I made a mistake paste it here like this and take extrude command select this line press spacebar and give 4 inches take copy select this point sorry take copy and we have to select this point and paste it here actually we will making we will be making some design that's why we have been creating this now we need to make extrude this last rectangle and also give some distance some large like previously we will use, we used 4 inches so here we will use suppose 5 inches once extra actually we will do some different what we do here we will move this from here to upward direction around around 5 inches like this now we will learn new command called loft where is loft? loft is loft is where? this is loft so you will learn how to use loft to use loft first select base layer press space bar sorry select this layer and this layer press space bar and enter to come out but it didn't come out Okay, we will select again. I think there is some problem, I think. Okay, we will try this drawing. So actually uses is causing the problem so we will use another method to move this upward so as you can see here z axis is our upward direction so we will use move then how to use just see how to use this in x axis we will, their displacement will be zero so put zero and use comma for next y axis also y axis will be zero so use comma then in z axis we will use 3 inches so it's not 3 5 inches press enter sorry we forget to choose the base point sorry sorry we made a mistake again select this take move, move command select a base point then use that 0 comma 0 comma 5 inches now it has been cleared now we'll use lock command select this object as you can see it has been locked now enter to come out so we will select this object take copy command and take this point and put it here okay now our design has been completed now delete this remaining drawings you don't need them so we need a column here to support this so we'll make it here we'll use a circular command so take circle actually First, we need to make a line so that we 
The height of our dot six feet six inches. Sorry. I think okay. First, put this okay. We will make it as a single object, so use union command. As you can see, now we will. Copy this take this point and Extend these things to, to do that. Use press pull command, select this face, and connect it here. Okay, then just connect it here like this. Okay, so as you can see, our front chassis has been created. I will delete this. Also, we will make it as a 3D chacha, and this one going to be our wall layer. Thank you, everyone. In next video, we will be making our slabs.